When administering the Connors CATA, keep the same administration tips provided for the Connors CPT3 in mind, such as closing all other programs on the computer and providing a quiet environment with minimal distractions. Ask the respondent to discard any gum or candy and to visit the washroom and or have a drink of water before the administration. Once you are ready to begin the administration, you will select the Connors CATA from the new assessment menu in the MHS scoring software. Then, just like the Connors CPT3, you enter the respondent's name and demographic information and click OK to enter the practice test. When the task instructions are displayed on the computer monitor, ask the respondent to put on the headphones. Pay careful attention to the left, right ear label on the headphones to ensure they are worn on the correct ears. Once this is done, explain the task by reading the instructions displayed on the screen and using the sound buttons in the order that they are presented. The instructions should be read loudly and at a reasonable pace so that the respondent can hear you through the headphones. Just like the Connor CPT-3, observe the respondent carefully since the administrator is responsible for deciding whether the respondent is ready for the actual administration. Now let's begin the practice test which runs for approximately one minute beginning with the practice administration instructions. During the task, you will hear either a low sound like this or a high sound like this. The low sound is usually played first, followed by the high sound, most of the time like this or like this. but once in a while like this or like this. When you hear the low sound followed by a high sound, press the space bar as quickly as you can when you hear the high sound. You do not need to wait until the high sound is finished playing. You should respond as soon as you hear it. Here is something that will help you respond better. If you hear the low sound in your left ear, keep listening with your left ear for the high sound. If you hear the low sound in your right ear, keep listening with your right ear for the high sound. But if you hear the high sound by itself without the low sound like this, or like this, do not press anything and just wait for the next sound. You should only respond to high sounds that are paired with low sounds. Click OK to begin the practice session. Upon completion of the practice test, it is up to the administrator to decide if the respondent should proceed to the actual administration. Just like the Connor CPT-3, the Connors CATA will provide guidance. Keep in mind, high error rates could be due to clinical impairment or an inability to understand the task, and it is up to the administrator to decide which explanation is the more likely reason for the high error rates. If the high error rates are caused by clinical impairment, then the respondent should proceed to the actual administration. If the high error rates are thought to be related to the respondent's inability to understand the task, then consider foregoing the actual administration after three failed attempts at the practice test. Once the decision has been made to start the actual administration, ask the respondent to refrain from asking any questions until the administration is complete. Just like the CPT-3 administration, during the Connors CATA administration, remain in the room to observe the respondent. If the respondent asks questions during the administration, deal with the questions quickly and the standard answer to almost all questions should be, I could answer that question after you are finished. Please continue. In cases where the respondent is disengaged from the task, a one warning approach is used. It is suggested that when the respondent disengages, you make one effort to reorient them by saying a verbal prompt such as, remember, you have to try paying attention the whole time. If the respondent continues to disengage from the task, no further prompt should be given and the program can be terminated by pressing Control Q Q simultaneously on the keyboard. Let's take a look at what the actual administration looks like.
Welcome to the Connors CAD administration. The administration will begin when you click OK. Once the administration is completed, the program advises the respondent that they have completed the assessment and to please ask for assistance. The administrator then enters a password to proceed back to the Connors CADA software main menu. At this point, you decide whether you're going to discard or save the administration that has just been completed. Once at the main menu, you can generate a report by selecting Generate Report and choosing what type of report you would like, assessment report or progress report. And here's your Connors CADA report. Administering, scoring, and generating a report for the Connors CADA is as simple as that. 